Hi ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new here, I'm Christina. This is my best friend Kelly. Today we have got such a fun video because we're going to be sharing with you all of our favorites. We have got some beauty, skincare, makeup, hair care, got some fashion and accessories also thrown in there. So the majority of these things I would say are recent finds, but definitely we have got some gems in there that we've been loving our tried and true like favorites that we also had to throw into the mix in case you missed some of our previous videos. So of course, as always, we're gonna have everything linked down below and also pinned in the description box for you guys. Okay, ladies, so I wanted to start with a brand new product that I have been loving. I really am calling this a hair game changer, and that is this Sexy Hair Big Fun Razor. So what this is is a volumizing and texture spray, and the reason it's a game changer for me is because I do curl my hair just about every day now. I really like it to have a little bit of that beachy wave look, and it's very hard to hold curl in my hair. So just like most people, you know, I have that problem where you curl your hair and an hour later it's kind of flat but this has really changed that for me so when you're curling hair if you're trying to do it on a very clean hair very soft hair it's not going to hold you really need to create some grip to the hair and I've tried using hairspray I've tried using dry shampoo and none of them hold quite like this so this product is awesome after I blow dry my hair straight I spray quite a bit of it in the hair get it nice and grippy and then I go in with my curling iron and my curls last so much better and you can even finish it off with a little bit more to create some more texture some dimension with your curls some separation and I just think it is such a fantastic product so if you have had trouble holding curl in your hair definitely check this one out and my other hair game changer this is a product that I have shared with you before but I've got to share it because it's like my number one hair find and that is this brush by dry bar this is one of those um, hair dryer hair brushes this is the single shot by dry bar I absolutely love it I've tried others they never really worked out for me this is one of the few I've ever seen that is round this is a two inch round brush but it does blow dry the hair so this is fantastic as well I wanted to just mention it again in case you're looking for something to really help create that volume and just smooth out the hair I highly recommend this one and it is not nearly as expensive as some of those other products like the Dyson air wrap and all those fancy things so I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that this is not sponsored content. We have not been paid um, to share any of these products with you. These are just things that we've purchased, you know, on our own that we've truly been loving that we want to share with you. So I have been telling you guys, you know, for as long as we started this channel that I am someone who is a big time exfoliator. Pretty much every single product that I put on my face has some kind of exfoliating element to it. And I really like the way that it helps with the texture of my skin however it doesn't always you know work that effectively with evening out my skin tone so it started to become more and more of a problem especially as I'm getting older that I've noticed that there's been some discoloration in my skin so the product that I've been using and really loving that has been combating that main issue for me is Colleen Rothschild's glycolic acid peel pads with blue agave so this is a pad that basically has glycolic acid on it you can just you know swipe it over your face and along your neck you'll definitely notice some tingling and it's so good I for sure have been noticing some evening out of my skin tone really have tried so many different products this one happens to be the best one that's been working for my skin I also have been noticed a side factor which I really didn't think was going to happen but that is all of the sebum production so I have for sure uh, the traditional combination skin I have that oily skin right in that t-zone and have noticed that any of the little white heads or especially right on the crease like the inside of my nose all of that sebum production here and here has really reduced significantly since I've been using this product. So if you guys are having any of those issues, would highly recommend for sure, hands down, one of my favorites. So Christina and I are definitely denim girls. We basically live in our blue jeans because we have very casual lifestyles. 
So whenever I find a pair of jeans that are at a budget-friendly price, but I love just as much as some of my luxury designer denim, I know that that is a good one. So this next pair is definitely one that fits the bill. These are a pair from Express. These are a light wash flare jean that I have really, really been enjoying. And what makes these a little unique is they are actually a mid-rise, which is not something that I typically go for. I'm usually a high-rise girl, but these mid-rises really come up to the perfect length um, in the waist area. So for me, they're a very flattering fit. They're also available in regular, tall, as well as short. I went for the short inseam, which works really well for me at five foot three, but they do have a variety of lengths, which I also love about Express. And I love this like 70s flare style. I think that it is so flattering. If I had to choose one style of jeans that I personally think are the most flattering on the majority of women's bodies, I would choose a flare because I think that they really help to balance out women's proportions, whether you are an hourglass or more of a rectangular body type, they just help to create more of that hourglass, very feminine fit. So this pair in particular, I find to be very flattering. They're also available in some other washes as well, but wanted to share them with you. They are currently on sale for under $70, but even at full price, they are somewhere around like $85, $88. So definitely, a great pair. So I wanted to share with you guys a recent perfume that I stumbled upon. I have gotten like several different perfume samples and this one I just thought smelled so good. It's actually very popular so you guys may have already heard of that and that is called Flower Bomb by Victor and I believe it's Rolf. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but it's such a pretty smell. Very feminine. It has a very sweet smell to it. it smells like a bunch of like flowers, hence the name Flower Bomb, but it has some jasmine in there along with some like orchids and rose smells in there. Just really smells super good. I'm actually someone who does suffer from migraines, so I do have to wear perfume that doesn't trigger migraines for me, and this one thankfully does not, but I just thought it was such a pretty scent. My husband really likes the scent as well, which makes it a plus because obviously I want to not only smell good for me, but also have a scent that my husband also also really likes so if you guys are looking to you know maybe pick up a new scent or explore for sure this is absolutely one of my favorites so during the Christmas season I have all of my candles and my wall plugins smelling like Christmas trees and I love to walk into the house and smell that beautiful Christmas fragrance however when January comes it's time to put away all the Christmas but it's not quite time for my spring scents my beautiful florals or my summery scents that I love to have so I was looking for something that would be great for this time of year and I stumbled on one that I really really love so this is called book loft this is a Bath and Body Works candle and and what I love about this scent is it's just perfect for those like in between times. It's still winter, but it's not Christmas. It's too early for the spring scents. This is such a good one. So the way they describe this online is it has um, bergamot, neroli, and cozy woods. The way that I smell it, since I have no idea how those things smell, what I smell is a hint of like a really nice men's cologne, but also this feeling of being in a beautiful book loft or like a library somewhere. So it's just a really inviting and delicious, yummy scent. I really enjoy it. Not only do I love to light the candle, but I also have the wall plugins throughout my house. So if you are looking for a really inviting yummy scent for this time of year. I definitely think you should check out Book Loft. So before I share with you my next favorite, I wanted to share my top and my jewelry with you ladies. So I'm squeezing in another one of my favorites because I made sure to wear this sweater. This is a light tan and black stripe sweater, budget friendly one that I recently picked up. Really love it. It's super soft and comfy, but I just love the stripes. I definitely think it's such a cute sweater. Dugs come in several other colors, but I love these like flowier bell type of sleeves that also has this slit near the wrist. I thought it's a little fun and flirty. And for the jewelry, these are just some pieces that I've been wearing on repeat. So that is this serpent wrap ring along with a classic chain link bracelet and a textured teardrop earring. These are just some pieces that really work effortlessly in my wardrobe. 
So moving along, I also wanted to share with you my next favorite. So if you guys have been watching us for the past couple of months, the eyeshadow palette that I have been using and really loving is this one called Tartlet in Bloom. So I love this one because I think it's a great everyday palette. It has nine different colors that I think are very easy to wear um, for everyday uh, wear. They're not too dark. They're definitely like a good payoff, but if you are someone who is more of a beginner, you don't, you're not like like a makeup artist level, they're very forgiving, which for me, I definitely appreciate. However, on those nights where I need to kind of boost it up and I wanna add maybe a little bit of a smoky eye, it does have three other additional colors which really help to add some like depth and dimension to the eye. It has a combination of both matte and shimmer eyeshadows in here which is perfect because since i do have small lids i do like to use a little bit of shimmer on my eyelid just to kind of open my eye up a little bit so if you are looking for a great like everyday beginner or even travel palette this is one that i really love and would highly recommend Okay, so this next favorite is not really a new one because I've definitely been wearing it a ton over here, but I'm not sure if I've ever really talked about it, and that is my Tory Burch Rectangular Bracelet Watch. So recently I was looking for a two-tone watch that I could wear every day that has more of like a feminine fit to it. Sometimes I like those big, chunky, round, big-faced, bold watches, but sometimes I just want something that is very soft and girly, and I really wanted that rectangular angular smaller more petite looking watch so this is a beautiful one it is two-tone with stainless steel and gold tone so it works with all of my jewelry and any hardware on my belts or my handbags or shoes which is something I really love this is 25 millimeter size I feel like the price point is pretty good for more of like a designer style watch so I just really love it I think it's very high-end looking for a good price and definitely one that will work for a lot of women so I figured I would share it with you. And really quickly, let me go ahead and mention what I have on today. So I'm wearing a very simple Henley style top in this like blush pink kind of color. Of course, I love my pinks. I think this one is available in quite a few colors. It's a really good, simple, everyday basic. You can layer it underneath something or wear it on its own like I'm doing here. And for jewelry, I just have on a recent find of these little chunkier hoops that I have been really loving. They work with so much. I'm wearing my Tori birch two-tone watch that I just shared with you and two little chain link bracelets one in mixed metals and one in mixed chain links so very simple jewelry works with everything had to share it with you now you ladies know I am a complete skin care junkie but I'm gonna make a little confession I don't always use it at night. <laughs> so there's definitely plenty of times when it's nighttime, I'm tired, I'm not you know, using all the products I have and instead I'm just slapping on a retinol serum and calling it a night and you know, all of the other products are not being used. So I really love it when I have products that have a dual purpose. So one of the ones that I've been using and really loving and so excited to share with you guys is this one, Grande Brow 2-in-1. So I do have a sparse eyebrows and I love the fact that this is not only a tinted brow gel which helps to thicken out my eyebrows, but it also has a brow growth serum. So that is something that I use every day when I'm putting on my makeup. I know not only am I helping to, you know, define my eyebrows, but I'm also helping them to grow because at nighttime, am I always using an eyebrow serum? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not. Do I always use my eyelash serum? I'm not always doing it, but this is something that I can use. It's part of my little makeup routine, and I know that, you know, as thick as my eyebrows can possibly get, you know, is really what I'm attaining by this, and also getting a little bit more color definition because it is tinted. So if you're someone who, I don't know whether you wanna say is, you know, uh, efficient with your time, or for me, I just call myself lazy. I want something that's quick and easy that I know is gonna be able to help my eyebrows get thicker and also help them to be more well-defined. You're definitely going to love this product. Okay, if you have been watching us for a while, then you know that I am a luxury handbag lover. 
But I also know that not everyone is into investing money in handbags, but sometimes you really love the look of a bag and you really wanna find something similar. So one of the things that I love to do is I love to scope out Amazon and find those luxury looks for less and order them and compare them and see do they really hold up and I have to tell you, they don't always, but this one is a good one, ladies, and I, I was so excited to share it with you because I do have the original smaller version of this one in white, and I have to say, this is a great look for less. So these are not meant to be fakes. There are no labels on these bags. Most people wouldn't even recognize the designer version because it's not you know, a bag that everyone is familiar with, but it's a bag that I think appeals to a lot of women. The design of it, the, um, the woven design is really popular right now. And if you have like a more feminine style, you might love this little like bow looking buckle. I know that's what really attracted me to this bag. This this one is done so well. This bag is under $45. It comes in about four different colors. This is the beige. It's not available in the pure white, but this beige is really, really beautiful and would be perfect going into springtime. This, you can wear it as a crossbody or you can hold it by the little handle. It's just a great bag. It has a zipper closure. The, the faux leather on this is extremely soft. So it's really just a nice high quality bag. And if you have been just eyeing that Bottega Veneta bag and you want that look, but you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars, this is a great option. Okay, so I wanted to share with you, ladies, a new blush that I have been loving. Definitely something that I feel like is so easy to apply, and that is the ELF Putty Blush. So this is really like a unique one because it's formulated to be applied as a cream blush, but then it actually turns into like a semi-matte blush. So this is also the ELF Putty Blush Brush, which makes it super easy to apply. So you just kind of swirl it into um, the blush and then you apply it and you can kind of like stipple it in and blend it out as you need to and the blush really is perfect for blending it out really seamlessly. This is in the color Tahini. So I really love this one. I also still use my um, Tarte Man Eater blush. I use them, you know, kind of just depending on which type of makeup or whatever that I'm wearing um, that day. So still love what, that one, but this one is so budget friendly and super easy to apply. So they also have have like several other colors one of them is called Bora Bora so if you like more of that like pinky kind of shade versus more of like a corally type of you know sun-kissed type of color you might really gravitate towards that one but I figure for a blush that cost seven dollars and a great little brush blush or brush that cost five dollars I thought it was just such a great budget friendly alternative that I wanted to share with you ladies Okay, so I've definitely been reaching for this necklace a lot lately, so I had to put it in this video, and that is this little delicate bow necklace. So bows have been really trending lately. Everything from, you know, girls wearing a lot of these like hair bows to bows on clothing, bows on jewelry, and I just fell in love with this little bow necklace. So this is a little like, it's it's a very um, soft kind of gold. It doesn't look like a very yellow gold. It looks almost like like a silvery gold tone. It has a little bit of crystal details right around the little bow, and then it has this one little pearl on it that I just think it's so pretty and delicate. It's a 16 inch necklace, which is really the perfect length for me with a two inch extender. So depending on my neckline that day, I can kind of make it, you know, reach wherever it needs to. This is under $25. I believe it's currently on sale, and I have just been loving this one. So if you have some, you know, very feminine girly taste as well. I think you would really enjoy this necklace, but it's definitely become a quick favorite of mine. All right, so if you are someone who struggles with oily skin, you apply your makeup and then within a few hours, you really notice that the oil is breaking through. Kelly has oily skin, I have the combination skin, and our really good friend, Lisa D, she actually recommended this to us and we both love it and that is the Milk Setting Powder. So this is officially called the Pore Eclipse Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Wow, that's a mouthful. So I have it in the color medium, Kelly has it in the color light so this is perfect not only does it really help to kind of keep your skin a natural matte 
um, throughout the day. We definitely noticed we don't have to continue to touch up our makeup throughout the day. This is really perfect. Kelly applies it with a beauty blender, where for me, I just use a makeup brush to lightly apply it to my face, but it also really helps to blur your pores. So this is one for you ladies that really are trying to fight that shine. Give it a try, because I definitely think you're gonna love it. Okay, so this next product is definitely a little bit of a splurge, but it's something that I have really been enjoying, so I wanted to share it with you as well. And that is this number one de Chanel Le Eau Rouge. So the best way I can describe this is basically like a moisturizing body spray. So it's this beautiful fragrance mist that you put on after your bath or shower, and it is just the most invigorating, heavenly, addicting scent ever. It's very, very soft. It smells like you're just in the nicest, fanciest spa you've ever stepped into, and it's something that can be layered along with your favorite perfume. So I love to just spritz this on after a a nice luxurious bath and just I just love the scent it's absolutely gorgeous you could apply moisturizer over it if you have drier skin for me this is really enough because I am definitely oilier it's for the body not for the face but it has the most gorgeous smell I can't even really describe it but I do know it has notes of um, Camila and rose which I love anything with rose but it's just really really beautiful and definitely something that you are going Going to want to try and like I said if you like a softer scent maybe you're someone who doesn't like a heavy perfumey scent this might be enough for you to replace your perfume it is gorgeous okay so I am someone who loves the look of luscious eyelashes unfortunately I don't have any of my own so I always have to wear some kind of false eyelashes however because my eyes are very small I usually have to cut them fidget with them try to get like the perfect length but I wanted to share one that I've been using now for a couple of months and I really love so I feel very confident in sharing it with you guys and that is the half lash by Lily lashes so this has an invisible band however for me I do feel like it really thick up that um, line here so when I do wear them I feel like I really don't need eyeliner um, because it just I don't know kind of enhances my eyelashes already um, but you can use this up to 20 times and I will tell you I can attest to the length of being able to use these so I would say that the only recommendation I would have is after you use them just to make sure that you're removing the lash glue from it but they really should last the full 20 uses for them so really makes it very like affordable to be able to uh, buy them but they're perfect because since they're a half lash I really am able to adjust them and it gives like a natural almost like cat eye kind of look look so if you're someone who really struggles with lashes and you want something that's natural and it doesn't look like you're wearing like caterpillars or anything like that I think you guys are gonna really love them they're easy to apply they give a beautiful like you know uplifted look to the eye for sure my favorite false eyelashes we recently did a trends video where we talked about that belts seem to be making a big comeback. So not to say that belts were ever out of style because of course belts are very classic. However, some seasons we see belts being used more in fashion. Some seasons we see them less. Even for ourselves, we had found that we weren't reaching for belts very often lately. However, I think that's about to change because recently I have really been embracing the belted look again, tucking in a lot of my shirts and I picked up quite a few that I really really love and these are all relatively budget friendly around the $50 price range but all really good quality belts that I wanted to share with you so these are this is my little new belt collection from Express I picked up the silver and the gold metallics and then I also picked up another one with um, a tan and a black version so these are four different belts but all belts that I find to be really really good I like this like thinner length they're skinny without being too skinny they're really nice at like defining the waist which is really a big trend right now is kind of waist definition in your look and when you add a touch of metallic it really just elevates your outfit but even just a belt in general I think can be very flattering with a lot of the jean trends that we're seeing whether you're wearing like a high rise or a flare style or a straight leg lots of great belted looks so if you have been looking for some great high quality belts that aren't at that like designer price range 
Express has some really good ones and these are some of my absolute favorites. This next favorite is one that I have shared with you ladies before, but I wanted to share it again in case some of you are new and have not heard about this product, and that is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara by the brand Thrive. So I really, really love this mascara. I have small eyes and a very common problem and battle that I had for so many years is that I would get my mascara either on my upper lid or on my lower lid. It was really just a hot mess. I had very like oily lids, so the mascara would really kind of run everywhere. This is the one and only mascara that I've ever found that doesn't do that. So it was such a game changer for me. So this is actually a tubing mascara, which means it like creates a tube around each individual eyelash. So I love the fact that it thickens my lashes, but I also don't have to worry about any of that, you know, mascara transferring on my lids. So if you are also someone that has very oily lids, and also maybe like shorter lashes and you want to thicken them up, this is, I'm telling you, my absolute, I don't think I'll ever use another mascara after finding this one. Okay, so the next product I am excited to share with you is definitely a favorite because I have been using this one forever and it's basically one of the only lip liners I tend to reach for. Um, I like a, a lip liner that is something I can cover my whole lip area with, kind of to create like a base for any lipstick, and I really gravitate towards more of like a natural pinky tone. So whenever I pick up those lipsticks that are supposed to be like nude shades or very natural, they tend to give me like a brown undertone or maybe they're like too coral looking or they just make me look very washed out. So I need something that has some pink to it, and I absolutely love this Charlotte Tilbury color in Super Size Me. So I've definitely recommended this one to a lot of friends. I think it's just such a great shade. If you are someone who likes more of that like nude, natural pink look, you're gonna really love Super Size Me. I put it on on top of my entire lips and just kind of blend it in with my finger to soften it up a bit. And of course, since I'm sharing that with you, I figured I would go ahead and share with you what I have on my lips today. So starting with the Super Size Me, and then I layered on top of it this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. This is a liquid lip in the Rose Blur color. This is also a definite favorite of mine. I put on this liquid lip, I usually dab it in a little bit with my finger, which creates more of like a blurred natural look. My daughters love this one as well. And then I always top almost every lipstick I wear with a little bit of the um, NARS Orgasm like lip glow. It's a little glossy. It's got like a peaky peach undertone so you can put it on top of shades that are more pink or shades that are more in the peachy or nude range as well. But those are my go-tos. But the Super Size Me liner, this one will work with just about every lipstick that I own. Okay, so I have tried a lot of different foundations and the one that I love for when I'm in front of the camera or I have a special event to go to is the HD Skin Longwear Foundation by Makeup Forever. So this one is perfect. It has a medium to full coverage. So definitely long wear, long lasting. It's absolutely going to cover any sort of imperfections without giving you that cakey over made up look. It gives a very like natural look to it. Both Kelly and I use this particular foundation and we really do love it. It's, this, it's the foundation we actually wear when we're filming. The other great thing about it is that it also helps to blur the skin. So any sort of imperfections, whether it be texture or pores, really helps to minimize the looks of those pores and give a smoother finish to your skin. This one is in the color 2Y20. I'll also make sure to put down the one that Kelly uses down below for you ladies that have a little bit of a lighter skin complexion if you're curious about hers. But definitely wanted to share this one because when Kelly and I both really love something, then you know it's definitely got to be a good one. 
Okay, I have another clothing favorite that I am super excited about. This is one that I recently purchased and I went back and ordered it in another color. I think I'm now up to three or four colors and I think it's available in maybe six different ones, but I love a great print and especially going into springtime, a beautiful floral. So I fell in love with this little fitted cardigan. So this is described as a cardigan. It definitely gives me like Henley shirt vibes, but because it buttons all the way down, you could leave it open and wear it over like a little tank top or something. But of course I like to wear it as more of a top. This is such a pretty print. It's like an ivory color with these little delicate blue flowers on it. I just went back and ordered this one in a navy with little delicate ivory flowers on it. I also have this one in like a cream color as well as a black. It's just such a great basic. So if you are someone who's very casual dresser, you want something great that you can just throw on with a pair of jeans or maybe in spring and summer a pair of shorts, even a denim skirt, this is a really, really great one. I did size up to a medium because it has a very like fitted style to it and it is ribbed. So I knew it was going to have some stretch to it. When I see that things are very fitted, I usually do like to size up just to give myself a little bit more breathing room but such a great one and super budget friendly as well for those of you that don't know I really struggle with dark under eye circles and as I age it seems to just get worse and worse and worse something that I for sure really am battling constantly every single day. So when I find a product that really helps to conceal that area, I am always super excited to share it with you guys. So this is one that I found a while ago. It is the Kaja Cat Nap Under Eye Brightener. So this is great because it really helps to brighten up that under eye area and I don't have to use a lot of it. So when you have a dark under eye circles, the more product that you put underneath your eye, the more likely it is to become very cakey it will crease a lot and this is a great little product that you can put underneath your eye it blends out super easily and it also just allows the light to reflect underneath your eye making them look less like tired and the purple in you know all those undertones underneath really brighten up which then means that all of those concealers that you're then putting on top of it you can use less products so if you're someone who really does struggle like i do with under eye circles definitely give it a try it for sure is in a great you know complimentary color in this peach it will help to make you look more awake so we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys are looking for some more recent finds, we have a great one that we recently released all about some Amazon recent finds that we are loving. So be sure to check that video out next and we will see you ladies next time.